Biden is a bigger danger to U.S. democracy than Trump, Robert Kennedy Jr. President Joe Biden could be a bigger danger to U.S. democracy than former president and presumptive 2024 election rival Donald Trump, another presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has said. Biden is the first president in U.S. history to mobilize federal agencies to silence his political opponents, the politician stated. Speaking on CNN, Kennedy Jr. pointed to his being blocked on various social media platforms during Biden's term in office and branded this as an effort to censor political speech that violated the First Amendment of America's Constitution. He also attributed the censorship to pressure from the White House. Kennedy stated that he still views Biden as a bigger danger, even though Trump played a role in the January 6th riot at the US Capitol. The question was, who is a worse threat to democracy? And what I would say is, I'm not going to answer the question, but I can argue that President Biden is, because of the First Amendment, Erin is the most important, the candidate told presenter Erin Burnett. I can make the argument that President Biden is the much worse threat to democracy and the reason for that is President Biden is the first candidate in history, the first president in history that has used the federal agencies to censor political speech, so to censor his opponent. The politician's Instagram page was suspended in 2021 over what its parent company, Meta, described as repeatedly sharing debunked claims about the coronavirus or vaccines. The account was reinstated in 2022, shortly after Kennedy announced his election campaign. Kennedy, 70, is the son of former U.S. Attorney General Robert Kennedy and the nephew of former U.S. President John F. Kennedy, each of whom were assassinated during the 1960s. The U.S. warns China against any attempts to help Russia in its war against Ukraine. The United States remains concerned about the strengthening of cooperation between Moscow and Beijing and is against any steps by China that could help support Russia's aggression in Ukraine. U.S. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said this at a briefing in Washington. We have made it very clear that we don't want to see China do anything to help support Russia's aggression in Ukraine and we will continue to make that clear, he said. Commenting on a planned summit meeting between the Russian and Chinese leaders, Miller also added that the United States remains concerned about the full-scale partnership between Moscow and Beijing. Kremlin leader Vladimir Putin plans to visit China in May to hold talks with Chinese President Xi Jinping. China should reason with Russia about the war in Ukraine, said French Foreign Minister Stéphane Séjourné in Beijing. The Chinese government plays a key role in the respect of international law, including on Ukraine's sovereignty, and therefore, we are clearly expecting that China will send very clear messages to Russia, Sejourné said during a press conference in the Chinese capital speaking alongside his Chinese counterpart, Wang Yi. China presents itself as neutral on the Ukraine war and hasn't formally condemned Russia for the invasion. Instead, Beijing has deepened ties with Moscow, even deciding to ditch the United States dollar for bilateral trade. Last month, China's special envoy for Eurasian affairs warned about the war escalating and said both Ukraine and Russia agree that negotiations rather than guns will ultimately end this war. China wants Europe to let Russia sit at the table for future peace talks or Beijing will boycott such discussions.